Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan. Alright. Uh, this is just a random video, you know, out here in the garden. I'm like, okay, let me just shoot a quick video and just show you guys a few things. Alright? You know, there's some other stuff you probably never seen before. Alright? And, you know, a little update on some other stuff that's growing. Alright? Let's go check them out. I'm going to start by showing you something. This is how my garden or the food forest is maintained. 100% yeah, is chop and drop. Yeah. The food forest feeds itself. And if you see right here, I just recently you know, like chopped the cassava and I've spread it around this. This is an ackee tree. I'm going to show you the fruit. You know. yeah. This is from seeds. You know, I, I'll show you the fruit and give you the description. Or you could go research it on your own. Yeah, it's called Aki. Yeah, if it bears this fruit and you could actually cook the fruit. You know, it, when you cook it, it tastes more like scrambled eggs. In a way, that's, that's how some people describe it. To me, it has its own unique flavor. You know, but this is a seedling. And this is what it's like maybe... Yeah, three years now. Yeah, so it's, it's it's grown, you know, a lot since you know past couple months. Yep. All right. Let's let's walk over here. This is a avocado seedling. This is from a has avocado. You know, avocado take years before you will get a fruit. Yeah, but uh, in, it, it could stay there. If, if my, the next generation of my family going to get the fruit, that's okay. But it's going to, you know, it's looking good. I, I keep pruning it back. It pushed on a lot of new growth right here. If You probably won't get a true Haas avocado from it. Probably going to get some other variety or stuff. You know, and I still have the option to graph onto this. Now over here. This beautiful plant here is called cranberry hibiscus or falls roselle. Beautiful, look at the leaves. These young leaves are actually edible. And the flowers from this, this is a hibiscus. Yeah. Flowers from this is, you know, you could use in teas, you know, and stuff like that. I know people get this confused with the, the regular roselle which is you know the leaves are also edible on the regular roselle but it bears these like a fruit that you know you could use for various different jams juice you know all kind of stuff you know let me show you the flower today there's a lot of flowers here yep so i'm growing it's two different variety of roselle I'm growing. I'm going to show you the difference. Look at the, the height of this. So short this is. And this is almost a mature fruit. Let me show you another one. That's a different variety. Look at the flower. Let me show you a different variety. You see this? This is how long this part of the rosa is. So this is two different varieties. I'll show you a better one. Okay, these are still young. But the rosal is in full, full bloom. I said sometimes people confuse the 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 rosal Jamaican sorry with a cranberry hibiscus. You know, false rosal. Yeah, yeah. This have a callus, but I don't think you could use the calluses for for nothing. But the flower you could definitely use for teas and stuff. And the the leaves are definitely edible. You could. Come out here and just pick a lot of young leaves add to your salad. So you see right through here, like a real jungle going on here. So more flowers. It's it's every it's loaded with flowers though, everywhere you go. Alright. Let's let's go through here. Alright. Alright, while we going through here, look, we have guava. Guys, this seedling guava, it's been pushing fruits from January, from really December, December at 2020 is when I got the first fruit. 
and it's just fruiting all year long. Look, look, look here, yeah, it's fruit. Look right here, look at the cluster of fruits right here. All year. Yeah. Let me shoot. let me go, go underneath here, show you some more. Look, look. look right here, guys. Fruits, I'm gonna be coming to pick some of these right now too. And this is all over the, the tree. Let's let's go even more under here. Let's see look. See there are more fruits, look. Fruits. Look here again. Fruits. A lot of them ready to pick today. Look up there. So the, the, the tree been producing right to the year. Non-stop of fruit. Let's get in, look at this cluster. Another cluster right here. Yeah. I'm ducking and dodging. Let's go over here. So I need to come out there and pick these. Look, there's more. More here. Look here. Let me get around here and show you. There's more. Yes, since I'm out here, I'm just gonna harvest some of these guava right now. Before the, 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 the birds and other animals come get their share. Let me go up here and get this. So, this is why I just let's harvest these guava. Yep. Let's, let's get back through this forest. <laughs> this is the banana here. There's one rack here. I just saw something yesterday while I was cleaning up the, you know, I clean up the pathways. Yeah, I want to see where I'm walking. Yeah, it's Florida we in and there's still dangerous stuff around. <laughs> so yeah, I, you know, you have to clean the pathways where I walk in the food forest. Let me show you again, look. We got one more rack of banana coming here. So that's how it looks in the beginning. Yep, it was actually pushing over to my neighbor's yard, so I kind of put a harness and pull it back over. Yeah, let it stay on this side. Like in the, the persimmon, the beetle, you know, the, the, the Sri Lankan weevil eat up all the leaves. I mean, that's what they do this time of the year. All right through the year, they keep eating this. Yep. Uh, this is over here, Gumichama. Tree. That's Gumichama, Brazilian cherry. A good size tree. This tree is maybe about four feet. All right. Yeah. Hope it put in a lot of new growth from probably love the rain that we have gotten. Yep. This is my, you know, Suriname cherry. Still waiting to get fruit from it. I think this was a seedling, so it takes a while. But it, it put on a lot of growth this year. So maybe, maybe next year, yeah, I'll probably get fruit from it. So a big, big, big plan. I know I haven't shown you guys the the Suriname cherry or the Gumichama before yeah so and then we have sugar apple growing right here we got black turmeric growing just you know I plant stuff all in any space I see in the food forest I plant but next year I'm gonna be planting like a lot more ginger and turmeric all over the food forest you know I you know I seen there's a YouTube Chime by there, Frog Belly Farms, I think that's what it is. I'll put the name of it. And he has ginger and turmeric right through the whole his food is his food forest. Yeah, yep. So you know, I wanna emulate that for ginger and turmeric right through and through. Every space I find, put some ginger and turmeric there. Yep. This is the the uh 
star, star fruit. So it's actually pushing off some blooms right here. What, what variety this was again? This is a dwarf Hawaiian. Yeah, so should should start pushing off some fruits pretty soon. I'm surprised normally I would have gotten fruits already. It's, it's everything is late for this tree, completely. Yep. If you look right here, we got comfrey. You know, I have comfrey growing throwing through the food forest near fruit trees and stuff like that. Yep. And this is the, the one one of the mulberry trees. So I'm gonna start pruning this soon. Guys, did you know? You know, alright, I let me give you guys a quick rundown or something. You know, I sell I sell the cuttings of these you know ever beer in mulberry and but I still sell the thicker cuttings but sometimes when I have these small thin cuttings I use I, I just push them in soil all over the garden and let me show you the result of that let me show you the result of that yeah I, I just stuck these cuttings directly in in the container no rooting harm when I just stuck them in and they grow that's what I do all over the food for the stock stuff everywhere. Let me show you some more. Look right here guys. These are all those small cuttings I are stuck in this container. Right, let me show you. Look. This is all look at it. All everbear and marlberry. So I'm gonna remove these from here, put them in small containers, and then I'm gonna be selling them as, you know you know trees that probably gonna okay you know they grow really fast yep i'll show you another year that i do the same thing do the same thing with these containers cuttings that are stuck in and they propagate by themselves it's nature working i'm sure this is the pakistani mulberry so this is this is kind of new i probably haven't showed you this before yeah I planted it in the ground. It was about right here. Now it's it's like about six foot tall. So the leaves look yeah. This time of the year, mulberry leaves start looking extremely bad. It's not a disease or nothing. It's just once it touch near that winter season, yeah, fall, the leaves just look rusted and that's just the norm for mulberries. Yeah. Our YouTube, yeah, this this wasn't a video to you know, like teaching and all that stuff, you know. You know, it's just showing show some stuff in the food forest. All right, so yes, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the week. I'll be blessed with peace, love, and happiness, kindness, <laughs> one love. All right.